trying to play football at the University of Ohio State. You know, it's a great rivalry, you know, something I've been looking forward to the whole year. Uh, defensively, do you, I know you're almost not a finished product, but do you feel like you're playing some pretty good ball at this point? I feel like, you know, I could do a lot better, you know. I feel like, you know, as a defense, you know, definitely the Indiana game is still kind of bothering. We gave up a lot of rushing yards, you know. We still got a lot of work we need to uh, do as a defense, as you see. Uh, I feel like as a defense, though, we're pretty much holding up pretty well, but I feel like we got a lot of room to improve. What's the one word that you use to describe this problem? <laughs> uh, intense. A very intense rivalry, you know. You know, guys gonna come out here with big hits and, and nasty intentions, you know, to go out here and, and show who the more dominant team in the, in the Big Ten. You've got teammates over there, right? Correct. I actually do. Uh, Marshawn and uh, Eric, uh, Chris Wor uh, Worley, uh, Devin Bogart, you know, a lot of guys that I played with in high school, you know, out there on the field that I'm gonna be out there competing against. Would you expect Harbaugh to ratchet it up even higher this week with Ohio State on the docket? Not at all. You know, our weeks are very intense no matter who we play against. You know, he told us if we, if we had to anticipate a week of practice, we didn't give everything we had to do. So uh, we come out there with the same intensity for, for every team that we play, and that's just as hard and as fast as we can go, as long as we can go. So you don't think there will be any added emphasis this week? Not at all. Not because of Ohio. You know, we go out here every week. We don't treat nobody different. Don't nobody get any kind of special treatment in his eyes. So we're going to go out here and play hard. When you see Harbaugh personally, though, how do you expect him personally to approach this week? How have you seen him approach you know, the early part of this week so far? The same way he approaches every week. A lot of enthusiasm on the mankind. The same. It's a question I hear that a lot, but it's true. You know, he come out here with a lot of enthusiasm. You know, come in the team room and meet and tell us, you know, we got to go out there and compete. What's the biggest difference, you know, going into this week, this year, as opposed to this week last year? Um, probably different coaching staff. Uh, well, yeah, obviously, yeah. Uh, have a better record than we did last year. You know, uh, a lot of expectations for both teams. You know, uh, with them 10 and 1 and we're 9 and 2, you know, we're two ranked teams, highly ranked teams in the country. So, you know, with a very good defense and offense. So it's going to be a very good game. What about emotionally then? Who did the team? What's that like this week as opposed to last year? Uh, I can't really recall as much as, you know, the emotions last year as this year. But uh, I'm quite sure it's the same. You know, this week is big and everybody out that play football at the University of Michigan. And I'm quite sure the same that who plays football at the Ohio State. So, uh, you know, it's a very intense game and very highly anticipated. Talk about the stress that this offense puts on you with all the weapons they have. Oh, uh, you know, they got a, a very good, you know, arsenal of things with the running back and JT and Cordell and the offensive line are good run blockers and pass protectors. Uh, you know, they got a lot of play action off the runs that they do. You know, a lot of popping pass with uh, JT Barrett, the touchdown they got against uh, Michigan State. So they got a lot of things they can do and they can hurt you. So they're very versatile. So you got to go in here ready to work. Do you hear from Coach Gannon all this week? Uh, in the past, have you? In the past, I have. Uh, I'll probably talk to him later this week. And talk to him and see what he has to talk, but I haven't talked to him this week yet. What does he say about the Ryan? You know, just go out there and do as much as I can do, do as best as I can do. You know, uh, but let's go out there and, uh, you know, the camera's going to be out there. Go out there and show the world what you have. Any texting back and forth with the guys from OSU? Uh, no, nah, not so very much. Uh, one of my great friends that play, that doesn't play anymore, kind of coached that in Bogart. We kind of text through our, uh, our chat that we have from a lot of guys that play college football. A little trash talk? Uh, not so much, you know. Uh, kind of talked a little bit after the loss against Michigan State, but uh, you know, I got a bunch of guys everywhere, even the guys that are Iowa that I know I play football with. You know, we kind of throw jokes here and there, but you know, it was all funny games. We all love each other. Did you hear about Ezekiel Elliott's comments after the Michigan State game? Uh, wasn't real happy that he didn't get a lot of carries, and do you expect to see a lot of him this week? Uh, I expect he's a great player. You know, he's a great running back. I expect, you know, him and the offense, the coordinator, you know, to see what they can do, because I'm quite sure they feel like you know, they lost the game and see what they can do so they don't lose this game this week. You know, they're a great team with a great coaching staff, so I expect them to go out there and make and fix their corrections like we were going to. What makes Elliott tough to, tough to stop? Um, the offense he's in is a great offense that they run. Uh, you know, he's a hard runner. 
he's a great pass protector. They got a lot of play action passes off of their runs and uh, has a good offensive line. He's done a great job getting pressure on the quarterbacks this year. Is it tougher this week with their offense just because they keep you off balance with what they're going to do? Is it tougher to get to JT Barrett? Uh, probably not. I'm quite sure that Coach Durkin has already schemed up some things to force to get at the quarterback and get after him. You know, he lays all out on the line every week. Uh, for us to go out there and play our best football. So I'm quite sure Coach Durkin got some up his sleeve for this week. Well, if you take out, you know, take Ohio State out of the equation, that it's the robbery and all that stuff, just is it kind of the next step for this program? It's been a really long time since you've beaten like, a top 10 team. You're someone that's this good. You know, you kind of, can you look at it that way or? What do you think of that? Uh, you could, you know, saying it's not Michigan it's and Ohio State, you know, it's kind of hard to say because mm -hmm. it's kind of not like you go, oh, just another team. It's, right. it's who it is and, and why it is, why it is because, you know, two great teams go out there and compete on that Saturday. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I expect them to go out there and give it all they have. You know, it's the seniors last game. You know, a lot of players last game on the team, and a lot of, a lot of our last game for our series on this team. So, I expect them to go out there and play.